I'm wearing my Ariana Grande shirt in honor of albums and artists that have been rocked Stupid. throughout the years Stupid. by the Grammys. So this was a including, choice. Including, yes, including Thank You Nights by Ariana Grande, which I believe did deserve a Grammy. But still, um, I got a Grammy, so. I know, but it's about the principle of the thing. Mm. It's about the symbol. Our family loves music, but this particular week had us in our feelings because while we do admire and appreciate the Grammys, they really tried it. We just have a lot of feelings that we're going to unpack. What did we like? Who? What did the Grammys well, get? Well, I feel like we Let's need to go through the actual list. We can't. We can't go off of just why not first initial thoughts and feelings. Why not? How do I feel? It's a mixed bag, honestly. There were some artists that I feel like got what they deserved, but I also feel like I feel like they went without naming names, which we'll do later. I feel like they went pretty obscure with some of the categories, which okay. the Grammys like to do anyway. They never like to completely listen to the fan bases. I feel like especially this year, there are a lot of artists that people are just not aware of and are like, who are these random people? Why are they getting nominated for Grammys? I feel lukewarm. It's bittersweet because, I, again, some things were nice to see, but I just felt like, like you said, there's a lot of randomness and a lot of obscurity to the point where I don't know what the strategy was or even the criteria. So while I understand that they are looking at a wide range of music, I think if that's the sentiment across multiple categories of like, why is this person here? Or like, why was that even considered? Then it's kind of like, okay, what are you even doing? But I definitely feel like the grant uh, the Grammys have like a structural problem. It's not just the voters who oh, are period. still majority well, owned by voters. And I don't think changing the voting structure to include more diverse voters is going to immediately change the problem. I feel like there's a lot of underlying issues that the okay. Grammys have to deal with. Okay. I'm just going to go to the official Grammys okay. website, the complete list. We're just going to start with um, pop um, because I feel like Autumn knows the majority of the people in pop, um, even though she doesn't really. That sounds like a read, but the pop music. <laughs> for pop. Okay. For pop. Okay. So this is one of the most controversial ones. Okay. Pop best pop solo performance. So nominees are Yummy by Justin Bieber, Say So by Doja Cat, Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish, Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa, Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles, and Cardigan by Taylor Swift. I heard a lot of white people. I said, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, what do we expect? I mean, the girls think that white is pop, so. Um, I'm surprised how much uh, folklore was listed under pop because yeah. she specifically, like, went alternative for a reason. And, yeah. like, everybody, I think that's what made the album so different and unique and exciting because it went further than her usual stuff. I think they just want to pigeonhole on her. So pop. that was that was interesting. I think no matter how diverse she tries to go, I think they're always going to see right. her as a pop artist. Maybe by not putting her in alternative, that maybe gave other artists a better chance of being recognized or right. seen. But then the other part of me is like, okay, but you listed an album under pop when it's not. So that's taken away from somebody else. Yami, that... It's garbage, mama. It's it's garbage. Okay, <laughs> like I'm sorry to the believers, to the girls who stand. Like it's just you know, if you, like to me, it feels like really watery Kool Aid. Like it's when somebody's like, like, I got it, I got it, I can make Kool Aid, and, and then you're like, what is this? What is that? Who made this? It's the off brand, <laughs> right? You're like, okay, you, you didn't actually you use the the, the great value brand right. and expected just the this brand thing. name. Right. That's not that's right. not what this is. Mm -hmm. It's not in the same caliber as any of those songs in the rest of the category. Even say so, which is like not super lyric, but that deep, was a very but like right. it's still well charted song. It's still a very popular. crossover right. hit. Like that was know. everywhere. Yeah. So I wouldn't. That so that's massive. Me at all, so right? yeah. I, I'm really not shocked by any yeah. of the other songs on here, but in terms of winners, um, honestly, they love Billy a lot. They love Which Billie upsets a me. lot. Which upsets me. <laughs> like, I could do a whole thing on Billie Eilish, but I'm not going to do that today. I don't know. There's just people who have been who are very several albums into their career, and the albums are very successful, but they don't get the same level of. Like recognition and praise, and even though I think Billy's doing great things and she's very talented, I'm kind of like, okay, there's a certain amount of like privilege and her coming in at the right time, like working for her. 
Well, we we got too much to cover. I can't I can't get into Billy Idol's. Okay, well and well for me in terms of predictions, I feel like this could either go to Taylor or Billy, even though I would like to see Harry or Doja take it. I weirdly think it'll go to Doja actually. Okay, just because of impact. Like I don't. Although I think Watermelon Cardigan would be a safe guess. Watermelon like, Sugar would be an interesting pick too because it yeah. went number one. So. True. I think that yeah. has a good chance. I wanted to touch briefly on Best Pop Duo um, performance uh, because BTS got nominated for Dynamite. Uh, I'm a really big BTS fan. I love BTS. I've been listening to them since 2017. So, of course, it's That's been... It. it feels longer. Yes. To see them come this far, of course, is like amazing. Yeah. amazing. Um, yeah. But it is not lost on me that their Grammy nomination goes to an only English song. That they're only... Song yeah. being recognized is fully in English. Like their album wasn't nominated for anything, even though Map of the Soul Seven was like constantly breaking records. It had a great it's debut. Great. So, yeah, but that's just the Grammys being on their bullshit as always. Always. So I but, hope that they can take this award at least because that's the only one they have. But aren't they also up against Chloe now? <laughs> no, they're oh, up against Ugly. They're against Wait. Rain on Me by Lady Gaga oh. and Ariana, which is pretty big. Yeah. So. Like I'm a little nervous on that. And Exile by Taylor Swift and Bonnie Bear. Uh, so it could really go either way. Best pop vocal album. Um, Is this the big four? No, but I wanted to mention it because Autumn has feelings about Chromatica. Um, which is nominated for you Best want Pop Book Flame album. on the internet. She's <laughs> trying to start some Look, this shit, is re not this is reactions, I'm not. okay? I'm not. We're trying to be honest. We're trying to be up front. Because I'm okay? still a monster. I just... She, Autumn is a little monster. This just she was, isn't for me. She was just not it's about just the era. not for me. Which I understand. Like, Many people were not about the Chromatica era. To go through the rest pretty quickly, Future Nostalgia, um, Dua, yeah. great vocally. Autumn has a... That's... Heard that album. You ain't heard After Hours. Look, we have trade-offs, album trade-offs. Okay, it's fine. I'm trying to so, air my business. Look, she <laughs> she airs my business regardless. Also, fine <laughs> line. You didn't try to air my business three different times. Also, you want me to come for Justin? Want me to come for Billy? Want me to come for Lady Gaga? I mean, these are and the, now I'm going to hell. These, I play these are the topics that oh people want to know about. These are the topics that people want to hear. Okay, we're here for the controversy. We're here for sure. the mess. Okay, we're not here to play nice. We're not here to play fair. Okay, I don't okay. mind the white people. I don't. I okay. just feel <laughs> like. Other people deserve to be just as regular. Okay. okay. It's called consistency. Great. It's called Also, fine line. You yes. can literally see Great the vinyl thing. in the background. I'm yeah, obsessed with Harry. I love Perfect. Harry. Um, so I hope he takes home at least one award because I feel like this era, he's... he's it was really, really of a Grammy. It he's was. really had a breakthrough in terms of yeah. like commercial success. Go right. back to that, to the list. Oh, Jesus. Just, okay. Did you want tea? I'll give it to you. Where is Best it? pop vocal album. Okay, so I'm seeing changes, chromatica, future nostalgia, fine line, folklore. If we're going off both the term best and the term pop, I feel like literally only two of them should be there. And that would be fine line and future nostalgia. Folklore is not a pop album. That's it's fantastic. True. Best, I would agree. It it's, arguably it's, is her best album. And I say that as a real Swifty. But, 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 it's not pop. No, I don't think it's pop. It's a full skip. That shouldn't even even be in the running. And y'all know that. Y'all know that. Um, Justin has some great albums. Changes is not one of them. Right. Let's just right. get that out there. I think Chromatica could go either way. That's like a matter of opinion. Right. Based on other pop albums that came out this year, I would not... I'm not surprised that that's there, even though I wouldn't put it there. I'll put it that way. Things that I was shocked and amazed were not there were Sawayama. By yeah. Rina Sawayama. Because that was actually very... Like revolutionary and like different and experimental. I really like Rena. Yeah, um, would have made it. I me. hoped that she would have at least um, been nominated in Best New Artist. Um, yeah, because I feel like True. she got a lot of noise for Sawayama, um, and it was well within the eligibility period. So I felt like mm -hmm. she had a decent chance. I want to talk about Best New Artist. Okay, let's do Best New Artist and Alex okay. Ingrid. Best New Artist we switch gears. nominees are Ingrid Andres, Phoebe Bridgers, Chica, Noah Cyrus. D Smoke, Doja Cat, Kay Trinata, and Megan Thee Stallion. This is a very interesting category to me because yeah. pretty much half of these artists, over half of them, are not new artists because the Grammys have really weird um, qualifying for best new mm -hmm. artists. Um, you see artists that have been out for at least 
five, six, seven years that are just now being put into as new artists, i.e. Kate But I'm happy to see Chica, um, Doja Cat, uh, Megan, yeah. of course. Uh, we love seeing Black Girls in Rap succeeding. I really see either Doja or Megan taking it. Agreed. But I feel like it might go to Doja because she's taken uh, Best New Artist at a lot of awards mm. ceremonies this year. I'm going to on Megan. I just feel like she's mm. done so much consistently throughout, not only leading up until this point, but also between now and the Grammys. Yeah. With her literally just releasing her first album. She's just been like on the pulse of so many things this year and with all her releases with Beyonce and Doja Cat and music videos and whatnot. So I think range wise, I could see it going to her. I also wanted to mention Phoebe Bridgers. Uh, I yes. really love her music a lot. I was definitely surprised to see her in here too, but I'm glad she's getting her shine because she makes great music. Also, Noah Cyrus. I don't know. That was a plot. I do not yeah. know how she ended up here. But, but good, for, good her. for her. Yeah, <laughs> good for her, truly. We're um, not mad. We're really not. Um, okay, okay album, album of the year. Of the year. So we still got plenty let's, to talk about. Let's get into it. Okay, let's go quickly through it. Um, Chalumbo by Janae Aiko. Yes. Black Pumas by Black Pumas. Right. Everyday Life by Coldplay. Jesse Volume 3 by Jacob Collier. Women in Music Part 3 by Hyam. Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa. Hollywood's Bleeding by Post Malone and Folklore by Taylor Swift. Now this is packed. For album of the year. Yes. yes. Let's just go up, down, thumbs up. Thumbs okay. Down. Janae, I go. But how do you feel about Chalombo being there? I don't know. That's a move. I don't That's know. Move. I don't yeah. know. Um, like Janae, I go, like yeah. her music. This is like, a middle for everybody. Yeah. Like her music is fine. Like I don't really listen to her She's music like voice. that. Um, yes. Her voice is great. I just like don't really listen to her music like that. Mm -hmm. But to see her album here is definitely kind of unexpected. Black Pumas. I don't really know who Black Pumas are. So I'll just keep it to the middle. Um, I yeah. But I heard they're like pretty old school rap, um, hip hop. Everyday life, no girl. This has no chance. I don't, I really don't think that this is gonna get album of the year. I didn't even I know. I would be Cole, offended if that was Coldplay. I don't even know. <laughs> I would not want to be I do not Taylor even know how Coldplay made people. it in here. Jacob Collier, uh, Jesse Volume 3. I don't listen to Jacob Collier, but he's been around a, like a lot these past yeah. few years. Um, he's like a Canadian artist. Um, his voice is great. I've just never listened to his music, um, but he seems cool. Yeah. Women in Music Part 3 by Haim. I tried to listen to this album. <laughs> I couldn't get past three songs in, but that is nothing against Hyam. I don't think I was in the right mood. Um, so maybe I have to revisit it and listen to the whole thing. Future Nostalgia, I think that has a pretty yeah. decent chance of winning album of the year. Two, that's the first one we both give two thumbs up. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I just feel like Dua has kept increasing her mainstream presence. Um, so... I, I mean, the singles from this album are just everywhere. True. I mean, Don't Start Now is just job. absolutely everywhere. You cannot escape this song. Hollywood's Bleeding by Post Malone. No, I do not think this is getting the Grammy. I don't Wait, think it is. Wait, this was about how we feel, not okay, their Okay, this is how I feel. Okay, because I was into this. Okay, okay. I feel this. It now. ain't about us. I haven't listened to this album, but I've listened to the big singles off of Post Malone's stuff and like... He's pretty much immovable in the industry at this point. Like, he's going to put out big singles. He's going to get industry attention pretty much no matter what. Recipe, right? So, you know, I'm not mad at it. And then Folklore. I only listen to Folklore once. Um, to be fair, I'm not a Swifty anymore. Um, so I, you know. That's her business. I was not That's deeply invested in this, um, as many people were. But uh, it was a good change of pace for her, I admit. Um, she ate. She and I ate think um, she definitely has a good chance That's of taking it because, you know, yeah. the Grammys are obsessed with her. This should just be its own category, Robbed, Kings and Queens. Who who did not get their flowers? What are we bothered by? Um... I'm bothered by The weekend. obviously. I feel like that's the elephant in the room. Um... I just feel like there's no way that... That felt personal. That an artist who has had that much success within an album cycle being excluded from like the Grammys. But it's but it's a pattern. We've seen this so many this times at this point. Um, this but, it, but, it hurts, but it hurts it a lot. It feels different um, this time. I don't know. Especially because he definitely I feel like his team submitted his oh, stuff to pop as a state as a statement. You know, like yeah. they didn't submit his stuff to R and B because they knew mm -hmm. that he would probably get recognition in R and B immediately. But he submitted it to pop and it, it kind works of proves, way. It works it proves way. the yeah. point like even though these are pop albums right even if they were submitted to the r&b category and they clearly weren't r&b they were going he was going to get nominated yeah. for those anyway because 
the Grammys do not like giving black artists titles that that do not fit into their conceptions of black artists. So I am not surprised that him submitting to all pop yielded no nominations. So wait, do you feel like it's because of what he submitted to or because the Grammys are full of shit? I just feel like it's a combination of both. I feel like... um, For me, it's all the second. I feel like it's kind of to prove a point that like the Grammys are not going to move out of their biases about black artists. Because if if folklore... I mean, even though folklore is alternative, if if they could see that carrying as pop, I don't see why After Hours by The Weeknd can't carry as pop. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense to me. It just hurt my spirit. It hurt my spirit. Able yeah, deserved it was it was definitely like, a a hard Rob's snub. King. I wish BTS was uh, acknowledged a bit more. Um, yes. I think their album deserved at least a little bit of acknowledgement. I don't know. They're very versatile. I, I don't know what the category. language barrier and the xenophobia. Yeah, I don't know what category they would have been put into, but yeah. I feel like it would have been worth it to acknowledge them a bit more. But I also just genuinely feel like this nomination was for them to be like, okay, we acknowledge them, that that's all. Like, <laughs> even though we propped them up, yeah. their outfits are literally in the Grammy Museum. They've yeah. had multiple interviews and performances by the Grammy. This so is also it's, it's really just weird yes. to me that their relationship is very, like, Transactional. Yes. I'm bothered by no love for Kehlani. Yeah. I think Kehlani, I think Kehlani definitely could have had a good chance Hurts. for the R&B girls. And yes. I just feel like it didn't come through at all. I feel like Tanache did deserve acknowledgement too. I feel like her as an independent artist shouldn't be a deterrent. Mm, um, yeah. Because I feel like she was really leaning into a lot of R&B. It was amazing. That she wasn't able to do with right. RCA. In terms of R&B, um... Honestly, I'm really happy for Chloe and Halle. Yes. Um, I really did, did not expect that, right? those noms yeah. at all, um, but they absolutely deserve it. I was surprised they got it to traditional R&B performance, but they do deserve it. Their vocal abilities are just unmatched. Anybody who listens to Chloe and Halle knows that they they can do pretty much anything vocally. So um, I feel like those nominations are completely justified. I feel like for the rap songs, I feel like either Roddy Rich or Meg at this point. I feel like they're the two top contenders. The box was everywhere. Pop Smoke was robbed, though. Pop Smoke was robbed. um, But I just feel like they are going to angle towards either Roddy Rich or Megan. And also, Rock. All women were nominated for the first first time in forever, girl. We did win. (laughs) Also, Brittany Howard. uh, A lot of people sleep on her, but Brittany Howard is great. She's a black artist. Um, she's She's the front woman for Alabama Shakes that band um and i just finally listened to her solo album yesterday and it's so good now that we're like past categories and whatnot can the grammys be fixed and how does one i feel like they're kind of beyond repair Mm -hmm. i feel like people just come back to the grammys every year because people like people like music people want to see who is nominated who the industry what it all means who the industry considers worthy of receiving awards. I know that I kind of use the Grammy sometimes to find new artists and new albums to listen to. When Golden Hour by Casey Musgraves came out and everybody was shocked when she won Album of the Year and I was like, who is this? And who is this country album? Who is this co- this girl coming out with this country album getting Album of the Year girl? That what? album. And then I, I listened to it. And then I listened Ooh. to Casey Musgraves and I was like, oh my God, this is great. Now I see why she got the award. Um, so yeah. I think it serves multiple purposes. We come back for the mess. Honestly, mm. <laughs> I feel like we everybody knows that the Grammys are flawed and that we just come back to possibly hope that. Is it on us? I don't think it's on us. Oh, okay. We <laughs> we have no way of voting. We have yeah. no way of controlling the process, especially because you have to be inducted into the Academy. It's not on the average consumer for not pushing their artists hard enough or whatever. That yeah. is on the label. That is on their management. Now, when you said that you look to the Grammys or like you it does kind of like steer your like perception or like taste a little bit see I feel the opposite that mm-hmm. because I've seen the Grammys do too, so much wild shit um I just don't I don't give them any energy I don't even watch award shows anymore I grew up doing that but I just again it's all so performative and there's so much like skew and variable and bias happening behind the scenes that like I don't give it that much energy. Again, because like you said, it doesn't include the audience. It does. There's no way for us to give input. I feel like again, it kind of exists in a weird like microcosm. So I don't, 
I take it with like a huge like lump of salt. So many artists are amazing, but you would not know that based on their Grammy record. Yeah, they may get it right with some people, like, you know, Beyonce and Adele, and other people get like tons of recognition, and others, you know, they still have great careers, even though you wouldn't know based off of the Grammys and their taste. I think it's definitely a love-hate relationship. That's how I feel. Um, I'm kind of the opposite of Autumn. I really like award shows. I love the whole rig and roll, the whole process <laughs> of it. So even though I know there's gonna be some mess, I usually like, I don't to, like to tune system. in. Yeah. I usually like to tune in <laughs> just to see bottom. like um, my favorite people. I just kind of come in with the expectations of knowing that I'm going to be let down in some way um, and just hoping that somebody gets their shine um, because that's kind of how we can, we have to look at it at this point. And I know Drake was talking about like, oh, yes. somebody needs to make their own system. They need to make their own but I agree. show. Um, it's kind of right. Is which it possible? Is, I don't know. I, I don't know how that would be possible if, <laughs> unless somebody put like a tree Someone like Drake actually funds and yeah. funneling <laughs> into that. If you want to talk like that. It would be an interesting it. process. Um, yeah. But, you know, I think. What, is, what does that look the like? The Grammys are kind of an in institution and I don't think it's something that can be changed by the next album yes, awards cycle, ceremony. Right. I don't like when people are like, oh, just go for the Soul Train Awards, da, da, da. It's like, girl, because that doesn't fix much either. Like, pretty much all these award shows don't have a way for artists who are fitting into multiple subgenres yeah. to, to break into certain categories without having to conform to one major genre. Do we feel like that then is the issue? That the genres are kind of like outdated and a little too like strict? I think so. Because Justin Bieber feels in his heart of hearts that, <laughs> that, that he has an R&B album. album. And I'm like, you baby, know, everybody who actually knows R&B like, is like, I'm like, baby, sweetie, that's right? not even close <laughs> to so, R&B. You know. And I definitely feel like that's a sense of entitlement, especially because R&B has historically a been a black genre. <laughs> so these white artists that people that people are going, that, that like white artists are trying to break into, like right. that's yeah. because of us being gracious to you. Um, oh, because oh. white artists yeah. did not have to break into R&B and they could have had plenty of success in other genres. Knowing that his team can give him the promotion and resources to put him Despite pretty much quality, everywhere right. he wants, anywhere right. and everywhere he wants. It's just weird because it's like, you should not be taking that up with us. You should be taking that up with Mr. Scooter and <laughs> your management team for not submitting you for R&B. If you really thought it was an R&B album, don't take that up for the people who submit your stuff in the first place. Period. Period. That was just very out of line for me. Yeah. Right. We'll just so, so yeah, I'm interested anyway. in seeing what happens. Of course, I I'm always kind of like, oh, who's gonna win? Da da da. But this whole era of pandemic award shows has been pretty weird. But I will be tuning into the mess, of course. I will not. So. Booked and busy. Ain't got time. She'll she'll got bills to pay. Like, she'll, what she'll, are you watching mess for? She'll look on Twitter. Putting your mess everywhere else. See the highlights. I'm not looking for extra mess. I, I'll say it. I'm so, not. Yeah. Not at my um, age. The Grammys elicit so many feelings. So obviously. You please comment with like how you feel and like yeah. what what made you happy, what made you sad, what you were hoping for, what you who are your faves, what you would change about um, the Grammys, yeah, who got plenty, plenty to discuss. Um, yeah. yeah, let's yeah. get into it. Yeah, yeah.